Let me see. Good morning to you. Firstly, tell us how these uh, teachers were caught. Uh, good morning, Tolly, and good morning to your viewers. Uh, I must indicate, Tolly, that uh, we are intensifying the holy war against the sex pests who are preying on our learners. As a department, we signed the letters of expulsion for seven educators last week. And these cases came about as a result of uh, reports from parents, including learners, who complained of sexual harassment to the department. I have instructed the department clearly that uh, we need to deal with these cases expeditiously so that we are able to send a clear message. Mm -hmm. But what was really worrying me was the issue that uh, these cases will take too long to an extent that uh, the perpetrators or the alleged perpetrators will be allowed back to our school without any consequences because of the collapse of cases when victims decide to leave the school or even graduate from our schooling system. Mm. So uh, in the coming days, I will also be dealing with the other appeals that uh, have come to my attention. There are about 12 other appeals that uh, are on my desk right now, and I will be dealing with them within the next uh, few days. 12 other appeals, MEC, that you are looking into. How prevalent is, the, is this kind of behavior in KZN schools? Well, uh, it's quite uh, prevalent, uh, clearly, and uh, particularly in, in, in rural areas where we still are struggling to really get the parents the, 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 as well as the learners to come up and report these cases. You find that uh, there will be a teacher who will uh, molest a child and then go to the family to pay some kind of damages, be it through a court or just a minor 5,000 rand. Then the parents will accept that and then decide to move on. What we are on uh, campaigning on as a department is that uh, parents must not allow that. They must, al they must be able to open criminal cases because most of these learners uh, who have been abused sexually by, by these uh, mercenaries who masquerade as teachers mm -hmm. are still under the consenting age and therefore there should be criminal cases of statutory rape that are opened against uh, such uh, uh, perpetrators. And that's what From I want to ask of you. Side, we will also be working and that's, what, that's exactly what I want to ask of you. I'm sorry to interrupt that now that you have dismissed this seven plus the administrator, is that where you're going to leave it? No, we'll not be leaving at that. Uh, we will be working with the parents of the victims to ensure that uh, uh, necessary uh, cases are being opened. Uh, but also we will be working with the communities to ensure that they continue to expose such cases. I must also indicate that we are very much uh, grateful of the support that we get from the unions. All unions have pledged their, uh, their support to say they will not be representing or defending anyone who is found guilty of such, con of such conduct. Let me say just a, a final question to you. These eight people that were dismissed from the education department in KZN, they were subjected to a disciplinary hearing. What was their explanation for their behavior? Because I think it's quite important to get into the minds of why do they do what they do. Well, uh, almost all of them uh, denied the allegations, but uh, the evidence that was presented was so overwhelming. The witnesses that were called uh, coll collaborated each other, and it was clear that indeed uh, uh, the, the case of guilty was established, and therefore the necessary uh, sanction of, dism of dismissal was necessary. None of them actually admitted to having um, uh, sexually abused these learners, but the evidence that was, pro uh, that was provided was overwhelming. And I want to thank the learners who came out uh, to, to testify, the, the parents who came out to testify, because it's only then that we can be able to deal with these cases decisively as the department. Let me see. We thank you very much for your time and uh, all the best in trying to clean out uh, the KZN Department of Education of these sex pests.